Hello friends. We know that the living organisms they utilize various elements for their nutrition. These elements are classified as macro elements and micro elements. But ever in your mind the question has striked that certain elements are in very less concentration. For example, carbon dioxide it accounts only for 0.03% in atmosphere. And all the plants, all the producers on the earth they utilize carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Then why such elements they do not get exhausted in this long duration of millions of years? Now the answer it lies in biogeochemical cycle. So today we will deal with biogeochemical cycle. I am Sudhakar and you are watching Science Knowledge with Sudhakar. Biogeochemical cycles are called mineral nutrition cycles or the recycling of matter. In this video, we will discuss what is biogeochemical cycle, what is its significance and various types of biogeochemical cycle. The term it is derived from three different words. Chemical, so this is the cyclic movement of chemical elements between geosphere and biosphere. The chemicals include various chemical elements like as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, etc. Geosphere has three major parts. Lithosphere is the solid covering present on the earth. This is earth crust. Hydrosphere is the covering of water and atmosphere is the gaseous cover around the earth. Biosphere includes living organisms. They can be classified in three groups plants the producers, animals the consumers and microbes the decomposers. So by definition this is a recycling of chemical elements between biosphere and geosphere. So we can define biogeochemical cycle as a cyclic movement of chemical elements from geosphere to biosphere and biosphere to geosphere. Now what is the significance of such study? They play an important role in recycling of matter. So the matter, the chemical elements, they are recycled in the atmosphere or to its reservoir. It helps to understand the interlinks between various forms of the elements. We know these chemical elements, they are converted into various molecules during their transfer from the producers to the consumers and back to the atmosphere. It helps to understand the process by which the elements are interconverted from one form to another form. It may be the process of fixation or interconversion or release into the atmosphere. It also helps to understand which are the factors, biotic factors or abiotic factors, those control the interconversion of these molecules. On the basis of the main reservoir of chemical element, we have three types of biogeochemical cycle. The first type is called as a gaseous cycle. Here, the main source of element is atmospheric gas. For example, the nitrogen, it is present in form of nitrogen gas, oxygen and carbon. Second type is sedimentary cycle. The elements are stored in form of sedimentary rock or salts or minerals. The best examples are phosphorus, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, etc. And the third cycle is hydrological cycle that is a recycling of water in between the lithosphere, biosphere and geosphere. Now what is to be noted during the study of biogeochemical cycle? We have to note the main reservoir of the element, then the type of this biogeochemical cycle, different forms of the elements in which the element occurs, various processes by which the element it is interconverted in different forms, the pathway through which this element it is passed on various tropical level and finally the process by which the element get converted to its original form. The reservoir are of three types. So on the basis we have three types basically gaseous biogeochemical cycle, sedimentary cycle and the hydrological cycle. Different forms for example in nitrogen cycle, nitrogen may be present in form of nitrogen gas, nitrite, nitrate or in the form of ammonia. The various processes of interconversion includes fixation process, 
assimilation process and decomposition process. The pathway through which the element it is passed on to various levels of consumers and decomposers that should be noted during this study. And the last process that is the release process for nitrogen it is a denitrification. Okay, let us see how the biochemical cycle study help us. We can take an example of phosphorus solubilizing bacteria. In phosphorus cycle, we know that the phosphate, it is immobilized in the form of salt. And this can be recycled, can be converted into water soluble form by the phosphate solubilizing bacteria. With this knowledge coming through biogeochemical cycle, we can use PSB as a biofertilizer. Now, which are the other biofertilizers? Write their names in comment section below. If you like this video and want more such videos, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.